Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Sam Blueby video. In this video, I've got two pretty disgusting GameCube controllers. I got these off eBay. I actually got them relatively cheap. For some reason, the black GameCube controllers um, are a bit more expensive than any other sort of non-limited edition color. Um, a black GameCube controller is probably worth about in good condition so like not chipped not really scratched probably say like 25 pushing 27 pound now i picked these two up it was one listing that had both of them and as you can see they're pretty disgusting looking i paid 25 pound for both of them which isn't a bad price i basically paid um full price for one and got the other one for free but these are pretty disgusting. I don't know why the seller didn't try to clean them before he listed them. Um, I mean, obviously there's nothing you would be able to do about the analog sticks. They're too far gone. But the shell is just covered in sort of like surface dust. If I want my finger over, you can see it's all come off on my finger. This one, this one isn't too bad. It's better than this one but i mean they're still both really disgusting you can see this one's got all gunk and whatnot in the like crevice here it's covered in stuff the back of it isn't any better and the cable is filthy i don't know how well you can see that but at the end i will show you how to clean uh the like cables and i will also show you how much sort of stuff comes off of it now i hope the controller cables will be okay it's really sort of screwed up um and also the cable is very very like stiff um now compared to my gamecube controller the cable is kind of soft and it's not got these big sort of jagged like turns in it or sharp turns so Hopefully, once I've cleaned it, that may go. But I have plugged these in already to my game. They were sold as, um, I think they were sold as working. And they do work. There's one of them has got a slightly unresponsive, like, B button. Um, yeah, look at that. And sort of like a knot in the cable. I have to try and sort that out. But anyway. The only thing I'm actually going to replace on these GameCube controllers is the analog sticks. So I've got two sets of brand new ones to replace these. So let's start by disassembling all of these. I don't think I've ever taken apart a GameCube controller before. And I've instantly started with the wrong screwdriver bit. Um, the reason why I've got two black controllers is obviously because my... GameCube is black and I want to have matching controllers but basically there's six screws on the outside of each shell so I'm just going to remove them I'm not going to do it on camera because it's not going to be particularly interesting but I'll come back once I've removed so we can just lift the back shell off the both of them and I mean they're pretty dirty um, they're not they're not too bad now the mechanism for the like shoulder buttons I need to completely remove and take out before I clean them but let's put those two to one side and we can continue on with disassembling these so there's no screws ah, so this just lifts out and Oh, okay. The membranes are pretty dirty on this one. And the thing that I've seen is underneath the analog sticks, it's very dirty. This one is kind of bad, not too bad. But this one, ugh, that's really bad. There's just like a clear circle. I'm not going to do anything with these. They honestly look like they've been like chewed by a dog or something. I'm just going to end up throwing those away. I'm not going to try even try and 
restore them or clean them or anything but that's one GameCube controller so we've got the oh, let's have a look at the d-pad d-pad isn't too bad so let's just tip all the buttons out that a button is massive <laughs> look at that. and then this is the front shell pretty dirty we can put that to one side as well and let's do the same thing for this controller take the motherboard out let's remove the this one yeah that one's not too bad i have to say this controller is quite a lot better than the other one but yeah okay that that one actually isn't too bad but oops the motor or the rumble um motor has come out let's just put that back in um yeah the motherboard isn't too bad not perfect but equally not too bad the yeah the the membrane again isn't too bad let's have a look at this one too bad and d-pad yeah not too bad um but basically that is it all or both of them disassembled so i'm gonna remove the sort of um actually i don't know if that comes out without bending it i'm gonna put all the buttons in the sink and i'm gonna wash them and then I'm also going to put both the controller shells into the sink and wash them as well. I need to remove the uh, shoulder buttons, which I'll do off camera, but let's go to the sink and wash them all now. Okay, all these shells are clean, but I still need to clean the motherboard and the cable. So I'm actually going to do the cables before I reassemble the controllers because I think it'll be easier. But I've just got some kitchen towel and Dettol and I'm just going to spray a small bit right in the middle of the kitchen towel and basically wrap it around the cable and hold it pretty tight and then I'm just gonna pull the cable through my hand like this. Now, there's, yeah, I was gonna say it might be a bit difficult because there are some sort of twists and turns in this cable, but the amount of dirt that comes off of all of the cables I do this to is insane. And then I'm gonna pull it back through again uh, just like this. This will actually also help to straighten it slightly, but almost back to the other end, like that. And then if I open this, you'll see, yeah, there was a quite a bit of dirt on that cable. Um, now, I am going to do it to the other one as well, but what I will say is, is they're not meant to be something on the back of that thought it was meant to be like a rumble motor um, would have thought there should be something like attached to the back of it to sort of make it well, rumble uh, but anyway I'm gonna take some cotton buds and some IPA and basically I'm gonna clean all the button contacts I'm also gonna clean the contacts on the membranes and most importantly all of the dust that is around the um like analog sticks it might actually be easier to wipe it off with a dry cotton bud and then go back over it with a wet um cotton bud with ipa on it but basically this is all i'm going to be doing not the most interesting thing but it does need to be done so i can have two very nice reliable 
GameCube controllers. But yeah, let me do it all in a time lapse now. that is them both done pretty happy with how they've turned out the only thing I'm not happy with is um, the cables and I don't think there's gonna be much I can do about them but look this this one even if I sort of stretch it out it it just sort of returns to this sort of loop here um, as you go up the cable there's like a knot in it there um, but that's the actual like cable itself inside that's like twisted and then as you go further up there's another one and and then you're at the end of the connector not the biggest problem in the world I suppose what I could try and do is I mean I don't exactly know if this would damage them but I could sort of try and hang the controller from like the cable on something in a hopes that it will sort of straighten um, the cable out um, it's kind of the same with the other one um, again look there's a big loop in it which I think the loops will definitely come out but like the knots um, they're in it although this one doesn't really have any it's got a slight one there um, there's actually like a chunk out of this cable here it's actually got like a sharp sort of edge hopefully you can make that out it looks like someone's gone along it with like a knife um, like I said, it's not the end of the world. They definitely look one hell of a lot better than they um, do compared to what they started with. I mean, look at the color of those analog sticks compared to that. That is horrible. Um, but I did actually have a bit of trouble trying to get the analog sticks on. They, I just couldn't get them to go on and then all of a sudden they both just went. Um, I have to say, I am a pretty big fan of the GameCube controller. I just love the sort of way it looks. Um, Nintendo always have a weird way with their home consoles of designing controllers for, especially for the N64 and the GameCube. They've gone for like really weird sort of designs, but I think this like controller shape is such an iconic shape for the GameCube that it's really one of the things that marketed the GameCube. But one of my favorite things I have to say is how the joysticks like click. If you listen, that noise has got to be one of my favorite things ever. Um, that is part of the reason why I love the GameCube controller so much. It does do it on this one as well. Uh, I have to say, this analog stick is a bit funny. If you push it down to the corner, it gets a little bit stuck, but everywhere else, it's fine. It returns to the center, just that one place. Now, uh, I will actually, I didn't realize this when I had it apart earlier, um, or when I was testing it, but what I might end up doing is, I don't know if that means it needs the analog stick replaced, or if I could just spray like, I don't know, um, trying to think if I've got anything that could sort of use it to help it slide smoother, but I obviously couldn't use something like WD-40 because I'm um, pretty sure you can't use that on electronics, but for the time being, it will be fine. I mean, 
you're not exactly always going to let go of it. I mean, it's quite nice that it does that. Um, but, I mean, not an awful lot I can do about it now. I want to get this video done. I wanted to have two clean GameCube controllers. Uh, and that takes the total of GameCube controllers I've got up to four. So I'm not going to buy any more. Um, but, yeah. Let's go over to my GameCube and we can test them out. And there you go. I've got my GameCube set up. I've got all four of my controllers plugged in. Uh, one of them just fell on the floor the second I started recording. But as you can see, these are the two I fixed today. And if I, this is going to be very difficult to do one handed, but if I start trying to drive, this one works. Here is the other controller that I fixed today. As you can see, that one works very well as well. And this is my other one that I had and the other one uh, fell on the floor. But if I hold these two in the light, you can see the joysticks aren't really too different. Uh, that one is original and that one's the aftermarket one. There's really no difference. Same with the C stick, except for, I mean, one looks a lot more sort of yellow. Uh, the one on the newer controller looks a bit ever so slightly more yellow in person but equally that could be because my one is the original one and it's just got a bit dirty but yeah that's going to be about it for this video i really do hope you guys have enjoyed bit of a different video i don't usually do uh controllers and whatnot but i picked these up at a pretty good price i thought it would make an interesting video so yeah thank you guys for watching uh comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye